So shortly after I make a video talking about how doable exercise is, uh, we decided as a family to go out and play laser tag, which is so much fun. Um, in the dark, after the second game, when I was almost winning, playing on a team with my daughter, I saw my daughter, I tripped over my daughter, who's 12, I mean, I nearly tripped over her, and I tried to keep running, I was running so fast, I was running like the wind, and um, what happened was I tripped over her, and kind of skipped and hopped and I had one foot and then I set the other foot down and they got tangled up in each other and I crashed to the ground in the dark in the laser tag arena and uh, I hit really 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 hard really hard okay so I landed on my right side um, my knee looks like a bloody mess of hamburger. I have a big bruise that hasn't shown up yet on the side of my rump, but it will show up eventually because I can feel it in there. Um, I, sp I have a bruise on my shoulder and I uh, spent f three, four hours. I don't, yeah, last night is a blur. Spent a an ungodly amount of time in the emergency room. My husband was driving us home from the laser tag. Um, it had knocked the, the breath out of me. And my son, Charlie, who's 15, big guy, has autism. Um, not a little case. He's got a lot of autism. He got me out of my jacket, which was good. Didn't hurt my arm, um, which hurt the worst of anything else. But I couldn't breathe. I was in, buckled in so tight, I couldn't breathe. And uh, they helped me get to the car. And um, oh, it was terrible. Limped out of the place. Um, my husband was taking me home. He, he took the road that we usually take. I couldn't believe how many potholes were on that road. They stopped at Dollar General to get some bandages and stuff. He got back into the car and I said, you know what, I think, I think you need to take me to the hospital and let's get some x-rays of my arm. So we sat at the hospital for hours. The nurse came in. And she said, take off everything and put on this little gown. You know, I had just got a new bra and it fit really good. And there was no way I was able to get that off. And I was wearing shapewear. Okay, so the nurse had to undress me, which was really embarrassing. So, and I said, you know, I'm wearing shapewear. I'm so sorry. It's really tight. Because <laughs> yesterday had been my running day. So she starts... You know, she, she took off my bottoms, and uh, fortunately I was able to keep my underwear on. She starts, she, she took off the bra, and she starts pulling on the shapewear, uh, which is like the kind that goes under the bra and over the shoulders, and it doesn't have a bra space. Okay, so she pulls up on it, and my belly goes, it was like giving birth to a belly that I hadn't had. Oh, it was so embarrassing. So... Anyway, so I get into the gown and I sat there for three or four hours. Um, Charlie, my husband, and my daughter came back after about two hours. They were waiting in the waiting room and they came back shortly after they had x-rayed me. We sat there for another eternity and waited for them to read the x-ray. Um, Charlie usually takes his meds at 7.30 and then goes to bed. And by this time it was 11 o'clock. He was having a real hard time. He was having meltdown after meltdown. He'd been crying. This was very traumatic for him. I'm very close to him. I'm his person in his life. So he was crying and we were having a real hard time. And finally the nurse came in. I called her on the bell, you know, and she came in and I said, you know, we got to go. Cause we told her like two or three times he's, he's having a hard time. This is not going to be pretty. So, um, the second nurse came in and he said, I hear you want to leave AMA. And he had the paperwork and everything for us to check out against medical advice. And I said, I can't do that. I just want you to read the x-rays if you can. I know that there are people that have more pressing things than us, but I have this thing going here and he needs his medicine and you know, it's going to get ugly. Um, Charlie wasn't hearing me say that because we try not to say things like that in front of him. Well, it did get ugly. 
because the doctor came back in and told me that I broke my arm. And at that point, you know, I, I've gone through my mind and thought, what if I got a diagnosis of this or this? Because both my parents and most of the people in my family who died in the last 50 years are dead of cancer. And I thought, you know, what if I get a diagnosis of such or such? How would I deal with it? Well, the guy tells me I have a broken arm. And I could not tell you what happened except um, I threw up. I nearly passed out. Um, both of my sons, Charlie and Jonathan, have broken their right radius, same bone. And um, J Jonathan had to have his set, and it was really horrible. And all this stuff flashed through my mind, and there I am sitting on the bed. They gave me a thing that looked like a blue alien sleeve to barf into, and that did it for Charlie. I mean, he just absolutely started crying in hysterics. So um, they let us go then. You know, they, they had no idea how it could be. I told them. So we went home. I had a hell of a night sleeping. Um, and I'm in this awesome black sling. But, you know, I don't know what this looks like from here on out. Um, Monday, I'm supposed to get a cast. I don't know if they're going to have to do anything. Um, I don't know what kind of break it is. I didn't, well, radial neck, so it's near the elbow. Um, you know, I mean, can I walk? I know I'm not going to be able to run. I don't want to sweat in this cast. Um, five weeks? So I had said before, we're all one illness or accident away from a mobility crisis. So, you know, what are we going to do? I spent the majority of my day today from 2 p.m. until 5.30 sleeping. I'm not a daytime sleeping person, but, you know, I realized that this is what my body needs today, so I put everything aside that I was going to do, and I indulged in a little bit of sleepy time. I can't drive. There's, there's no way I can drive. I have a hard time even walking because of my knee, um, which is that bloody hamburger mess. It's all bandaged up. So it's kind of freaking me out, but at the same time, I'm going to follow my doctor's advice. I'm going to get some walk in, hopefully without sweating, keep my muscles active, keep doing my stretches, the ones that I can do with, you know, without engaging my arms. I guess I'm going to have to stop my jumping jacks, which I really like doing. I don't know if I can do it just on the legs, but my balance is off now, and I don't want to fall, you know. So anybody that has any advice for me, I'm more than willing to listen to it. I'm going to look at this as something that's going to give me a little bit more um, of an ability to grow and change and maybe have an insight into what people have to deal with when they only have one arm in their life. Because this is different. I'll tell you what. Right arm. Going to the bathroom is fun. So that's my weekend. What did you do this weekend? Oh, I can't turn the camera off. Mm.